Hi, I'm Bob. Today, we will explore the shapes of the demand and supply curves. They determine how much a shock or an event affects the equilibrium price and quantity. I will first illustrate the importance of the shape of the demand curve. Usually, the demand curve is downward sloping because of the law of demand. But there could be the extreme case that the demand curve is vertical or horizontal. A vertical demand curve implies that the quantity demanded was not sensitive to a change in the price, so that a change in the price does not affect the amount demanded. It happens if the good is a basic necessity that has no substitute. People have to consume it regardless of the change in its price. An example could be a diabetic patient's demand for insulin injections. The quantity demanded is fixed at the daily dose. Another extreme case is a horizontal demand curve. It implies that consumers are extremely sensitive to price changes. Consumers are willing to buy unlimited quantities of the good at market price. However, if the price rises even slightly, consumers stop buying the good altogether. A competitive firm faces a horizontal demand curve because there were many perfect substitutes for the good in the market. A little increase in the price will lose all the sales. For example, if the bananas sold in the neighborhood market are identical and they are supplied by a lot of different sellers, then a seller has to sell her bananas at the market price. The quantity sold will not affect the price. Let's take a look at how the shift in the supply curve affects the equilibrium price and quantity when the demand curve is vertical or horizontal. Take the insulin injection case as an example. As illustrated in the supply and demand diagram, the patient demands two insulin injections at the original market equilibrium, E1. He pays $10. Suppose that a technology advance lowers the cost of insulin. The supply curve of insulin shifts to the right. The market will reach a new equilibrium, E2. At the new market equilibrium, the quantity is unchanged and the price drops to $4. So the shifts of the supply curve will not change the equilibrium quantity. It only increases or decreases the equilibrium price of the good. What about if the demand curve is horizontal? In the banana case, each seller faces a horizontal demand curve. Suppose a hurricane destroys many banana trees and leads to a decrease in banana supply. The supply curve shifts to the left from S1 to S2, driving the market equilibrium from E1 to E2, where the new equilibrium quantity is 5 kg per day. The shift of the supply curve does not change the equilibrium price. It only changes the equilibrium quantity. The above two cases are when the demand curve is vertical or horizontal. The following two extreme examples are for the vertical and horizontal supply curves. Suppose a farmer sells fresh strawberries at the local wet market. Since the perishable fruits do not last long and spoil quickly, the seller will accept any market price for the good. 
as shown in the supply and demand diagram, the supply curve for strawberries is vertical at a quantity of 200 kg. The original market equilibrium price is $10 per kilogram. For many people, cherry is a substitute for strawberries. Suppose that cherry is on sale. The drop in the substitute's price lowers the demand for strawberries and shifts the demand curve to the left. The equilibrium price falls to $4 per kilogram at the new market equilibrium without any change in quantity. So, when the supply curve is vertical, the shifts of the demand curve only change the equilibrium price. Now we consider the case where the supply curve is horizontal. Using the supply and demand diagram, we find that the shifts of the demand curve only change the equilibrium quantity sold, but the equilibrium price is unchanged. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.